Hi guys, July here, back for another round of a Sam June challenge. It is a kiss paint, kiss pour, kiss paint pour. I can't remember what it's called exactly. It's a kiss. Um, mixing cool colors with warm colors. And then putting the cups together and letting the paint touch. So I've pre-mixed my colors already. I've put down my base coat. The only thing I'm doing differently than the last time, I I'm using the same colors as my last pour, which would have been my third kiss pour. Um, the only difference is I am going to put some coconut milk serum in the darkest colors of my paints and in my last color on the purple side. I've mixed a basic silver with a couple drops of a dark purple and then I did that the last video. This one I've got the Glitterific by Folk Art and I also picked up Extreme Glitter by Folk Art. Um, Folk Art, yes. Um, giving it a try. I like the sparkles, so I will just add the paints to my cup. I will try not to do too much talking during my video because apparently uh, someone pointed out that I mumble a lot. It is 3.30 in the morning when I paint, so I'm not, I'm not usually a loud talker to begin with. So I like to keep it down because everybody can hear, the, the windows are very thin. So, if you don't like the sound of my voice, you can mute me. Alright, oh, I gotta add, just gonna add just a little bit. I don't know how fast this stuff comes out. Oh, that's probably way too much, that was like three drops. One full squirt, I guess. And just mix it very lightly. All right. I loved the colors from the last one. So I'm, I decided to do it again, but with less paint. I think the last time I had almost two ounces per color. This time it's closer to uh, one, one and a quarter ounce. It's a little noisy in the background. My fridge decided to start running. <clears throat> and there's someone in the parking lot out front. <clears throat> Excuse me. Somebody in the parking lot um, warming up their vehicle, which I don't know why, because it's not cold here. Normally it is. Six months of winter minimum. looks like this is a 10 ounce, 10 ounce cup so it looks like it's just under five ounces which should be good <coughs> excuse me and my other cup here
list all the colors below and what I use to make my own colors like peach peach and orange not the uh, the neon orange but the first two I had to make a custom orange still I'm looking for a good sale at Michael's <clears throat> in Canada they don't really have the same sa sales as the US so when you had the 70% uh, off canvases, we certainly didn't have that. That should be good enough. Okay. Wish me luck. like I have a lot more paint than I needed. <clears throat> Yeah, that looks about the same amount of paint as last time, which is odd because I did mix less. I'm probably going to do this color combo again with even less because it's so sad to have to wipe off a lot of it. I mean, this is gorgeous, just as is. Let's see if I can get any more. I already see cell, uh, cells forming, and that would be from the silicone. Just trying something different. All right, I'm just gonna torch it. help pop any air bubbles and hopefully bring the um, silicone help it separate
Okay, now the fun stuff. You will have to bear with me. I am very new at painting and even newer at poor painting and even newer at uh, video recording. So I have to keep two um, edges white, negative space. Boy, <clears throat> which way do I want to go?
don't see that neon orange as much as I did in the last one. I'll go off the edge on this side. I like that. You can definitely see where the silicone isn't sticking to the bottom layer. Hopefully that doesn't cause a problem. It's hard to know when to stop. I'm done. There wasn't a whole lot of weight to leave. And I will have to touch up that little corner because my fingers went in it. I'll give it one more torch and then take the camera down to get closer.
I don't know. It's not that bad, I don't think. I think the color combina combination is pretty nice. All right, let's see if we can get it to focus. Some nice cells there. I'll take pictures when it's dry and uh, also post what it looks like under the UV. See if that neon fluoresces. That would be so cool. Alright, if you've liked this video, please subscribe and like. And hit the little bell for notifications for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.